Hello. Um, today we're gonna try to figure out how to tear down uh, the three phases of the power of the Tesla charger. So it has these three independent phases. Uh, each one of them are connected by uh, by bus bars at the bottom, and it has I think it's eight control key pins. I assume it's low voltage, fault signals, and control signals. Um, the issue is, is that I am not able to remove them. I already remo removed all the screws possible, so I got an endoscope here. And we're going to try to figure out what's inside of it and how to remove it. Uh, I have the suspicion already, uh, I'm pretty like 99% sure that the only way to remove it is by unsoldering all the chokes inside of it. But we'll take a look at it uh, right now so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so let me turn on the light on the endoscope. And so we'll start here because all of the screws in, at this part are removed already, but it doesn't it doesn't even move. And glancing at it, I suspect it's because, as you can see down there, uh, it has um it looks like a uh, potting, and those those things are the input chokes. So it has two on each face. Um, as you can see, they don't have any screws on it, and they were like that. I didn't remove any screws. That screw you see at the bottom is for the for the ground bus part, if I'm not mistaken. So you can ignore that. That's not soldered anywhere else. Uh, and then if we go through here, you can actually see it says. Let me uh, put the camera on the right orientation. You can see it says choke input. As uh, it says assembly at the at the beginning. So it has two uh, input chokes, um, and they appear to be glued together. So if we go to the second phase, this is, I was actually in the third one. If you go to the second phase, it's the same deal. I try removing it with like a thin instrument, trying to pry off the the potting, but it doesn't do anything. Like it's way, way too much potting to be able to take care of it. Um, and then, so if we go down here. You will see the capacitors, it's full of capacitors, and it also seems to have like another one, another small choke at, after the input stage. So this power supply is divided in three phases, right? Um, um, it has like metal divisions along uh, along this side. And so I assume the first section is like the third section, so there's just capacitors. Uh, from, from the looks of it, the choke and capacitors. And then here at the bottom, there's six, each phase has 16 uh, IGBT or MOSFETs. Uh, they have their regular MOSFETs. I don't know if you can see them well here. Let me put the gamma on the right orientation again. Uh, there you go. Um, are these MOSFETs or transistors? I'm not 100% sure. The, um, but yeah, they they all have, there's 16 of them. Um, and they, uh, they're, I assume they're controlled by the uh, either the DSP or the FPGA that it has on it, the Alter FPGA or the TI uh, M, uh, DSP, sorry, forgot what it was. Um, and then as I said, it has an R stage here at the bottom. It's, it's a piece of metal dividing the whole thing. So if you can see with the endoscope, uh, put it on the right orientation again. So there's the board. And then as you can see here, there's another choke. And this one has a screw, so this pretty much for me guarantees that there's this. This was like assembled first, and then afterwards it was soldered on the board, um, because there's no way to get that screw out of there. Um, and then it has same thing. It has spotting to hold it down. The, uh, yeah, you should be able to see it there. Uh, so yeah, um, what was the weird thing about this? Oh right. Nothing weird though. I wanted to show you two things. Uh, the control board is all the way at the bottom here, and it controls the three faces, and it connects uh, through the front uh, section. It has a 40-pin cable, I believe, or 24-pin cable, and then it has a 20-pin cable exit uh, that goes to the car, CAN bus, and uh, some everything else. So if you can see in here, um, let me orient the camera again. This thing's a pain in the ass. There you go. So um, there's the connector for the control. There's the two cables. These are DC cables. Um, that fuse you're seeing over there, it's from the from the faces. So each face has a fuse. Um, has an output fuse, and then it has bus bars uh, that go all over the 
the back plate. Let me see if I can put the camera. I may have to turn around, but you are able to move all the way to the first face on top. Da. And there you see capacitors on the control board. I'm not sure. Uh, that screw you see over there. Let me see where the camera is. It's the last screw to remove the control board. Um, and same deal. There's no way to remove the screw without removing the faces. So I don't, I don't understand either the face doesn't come off. Uh, it has also screws holding this post part out back here. So honestly, uh, I think the only way to get it out is by unsoldering it. Uh, I haven't found a better one. Uh, maybe when I tear it down, I will. Um, let me pull back. Um, two cool things. The left JTAG port. So here's a CPOD JTAG port. And then there's another. And here, here's a FPGA. Uh, sorry, a, a micro uh, JTAG port. Those are only for the control boards. As you can see, we also have 20 pin connectors on the on each face. So I'll be I'll be trying to get some debug data out of that and see if I can flash it or read what's doing. Um, and then inside of here, let me see if you can take a look at it. You should be able to see like there's a bunch of circuits. There's only like three screw mounts. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to tell. This is that that screw uh, hold you're seeing there is for the second phase. It doesn't have a screw. Uh, and if you can see, let me see if I can turn the camera so you can see it. Same same deal. It has like epoxy or potting on it. So there's no way to remove this thing. Um, as far as I know, without desoldering the chokes. So what I did was uh, I scraped off the epoxy that it had holding off, like a plastic protection epoxy that it had. So next thing I'm going to do is unsolder all of these chokes and, and see how it goes. Um, so I think that's it for the video. It's already seven minutes long. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing. I'll probably capture it later. Uh, well, thank you.